All right, so this is my current build that I've been using for the last little bit of this. We have 19 left until we get Moonstone, so hopefully we can get it this game. I really don't understand why I wouldn't be able to get it this game. But um, let's go ahead and try and get Moonstone, and yeah. This is not my setup I would typically use. It's really not, but... You know, this one prioritizes faster mobility, uh, so like, and then, you know, the SAP. The SAP is pretty much just like, it turns it from like, it just gives you a way faster rate of fire. The damage gets a little bit lower, obviously, as it should. But other than that, like, so like I've always said, and if you want to see my normal build that I used all the time, which my original build is amazing at mid to long range, or even close range, but I've always said, and obviously as, as things should be, right, um, if somebody has these conversion, it's like SAP or SSP, I don't know offhand, I should have checked just now, but it's something P and NS, um, well something SP. But yeah, if somebody has these at close range and you use the default without having the SFP or whatever, uh, you'll always get destroyed 100% of the time. If like both of you are equal skilled players and you and and you both aim at the exact same time and you both hit the same amount, you'll get destroyed at close range because the fire rate is so much higher. But when it comes to long or mid range, even like if somebody has the default, you'll probably get destroyed. So it's really a matter of preference, but most people in this game aren't very good. So like, they can't aim very well, so it doesn't matter too much for somebody like myself who can aim better, no disrespect to anybody. But like, I, I can use these at long range as well, or mid range I guess, pretty well. I wish I was recording my whole journey up to this point because I got two quad feeds again last game, but with this setup as well, like, and it was at mid to long range. I'm really starting to get annoyed with, like, these spawns. I mean, I'm not actually getting, like, mad or anything, but, like, I just want to finish this out for the vid and I'm dying a lot. <laughs> I did just wake up as well, but my eyes aren't even open, like, the entire way yet. Like, they still feel heavy. And like they're like half closed, <laughs> but it's currently eleven thirty in the morning, and I woke up around I want to say nine thirty, but I didn't sleep until like three in the morning. But like I can't go back to sleep because I just laid there and like I couldn't go to sleep. So like yeah. Loving, I love the Tech 9 so much. It's it's really good. I still think it's the best. I mean, the best secondary for like auto is the Tech 9 when you have the, the conversion thing. But if you can aim and you want the absolute best, um, I guess Revolver too, technically. But I would say Desert Eagle overall is probably the best secondary. It has a crazy rate of fire. It always two shots. Whereas the revolver will three shot more often than not if you don't get a headshot. Which is why I said if you can aim, because like if you can get headshots hypothetically, <laughs> and I know this sounds crazy, but if you can get headshots theoretically every single time, then the revolver is just as good as the deagle, right? Because they both are one shot headshot. So, but yeah, overall, the Deagle is so much better than the Revolver. Like, not even a comparison. I think the Revolver is actually really bad. I kind of wish I didn't spend my credits on... Well, I mean, I don't care, but... Like, if... So, like, if I could go back in time right now, knowing what I know, I would definitely have not bought the Legendary Magnum, or the Revolver skin, because... You know, that's... It was, like, 6k creds, I believe. And then I could have the FG42 right now, which I think the FG42 is pretty good, I'm not sure though offhand.
I think the FG42 is pretty good offhand. I've never used it. I've seen videos on it though, and it seemed like it has a high rate of fire. I've always been a big fan of like World at War, Call of Duty and stuff when I was younger, so like the PPSH and the FG and all those things. Really, I, I like those a lot that they're in here. But yeah, that's the next thing I'll buy. I mean, I mostly try to prioritize cosmetics. Oh, there we go, Moonstone. 6k, oh, I, of course, I should have. I always try and prioritize cosmetics, but like, we'll put this on here. I don't think it'll honestly look much different, <laughs> but. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, come on, man. I hate how it scuffs. For some reason, Damascus Jade, it'll put it on the whole thing like that. Seriously, again? If it does it this time again, and we're gonna swap loadouts there. If it does it again this time, okay. See, that's what I don't get, it's so stupid. Anyways, let's take a look at Damascus, or sorry, Moonstone with Damascus Jade. Honestly, pretty cool. I don't see much of a difference myself, really. Like, it's definitely more white. It's almost like a silver rather than like a white or a gray, like a grayish silver. But it's cool. I mean, I like it. Um, this map's not the best. This is the performance map. There's nothing I can really do about that. I've been getting the performance map all day. If I ever get um, a, a map where it's really shiny again, then I'll go ahead and if I ever get a map where it's really shiny again, then I'll go ahead and um, you know we'll make another video on this when it's really shiny Moonstone again, because this map isn't exactly like bright compared to a lot of other maps and stuff like that. So you know what I'm saying? So I'll remake the video if I ever get another map where it's like shiny and stuff like that. What's the time at? See, it's scuffed again where it, that's the problem with like Damascus. Uh, well, it's not Damascus Jade, but it's just like the skin builder in general. Where it just makes part of the weapon Damascus Jade like this. And then you saw I had to reset a couple times. And then after you, if I, so if I die or if I reset or whatever, then it's like 50 50. It'll be scuffed again and screwed up like this. Or. You can even see my under, the, the under, the grip, turned completely black. It doesn't even have a camo on it at all. And you clearly saw that I have that set to Damascus Jade, as you see here. So, I don't know what that's about. Bro. Like, usually though, like last game, it didn't happen at all, believe it or not. I don't know why it's doing it a lot this game. Probably because I'm trying to showcase or making a video on a different camo. Oh, bro, I just weapon swapped and it fixed itself. That's so weird. Okay, so I guess even if you weapon swap, it can glitch. Very interesting. But hopefully they fix that or something. I don't know what, what that's about. I don't, I mean, I've noticed like, if you have the body of the weapon a different color, it'll typically do it then. I've never had it happen though until now with the under grip. Or maybe I, well I have actually, I just like never really noticed it. But that kind of goes along with the body of it because that's all like the same thing I guess. But I noticed that like if you have, if you saw on my skin builder, if you have uh, the, so I'll show you what I mean really quick. The body, if you have like an extra one here, that's a different color on the body, it'll do that. That's what I found anyway. But I like that because it's very subtle Damascus Jade. 
because this weapon does not look good if you just color certain parts of it Damascus Jade, such as this. I don't really like this. I mean, it's not terrible, but I don't like how it extends to the back, that little strip. I don't really like that little strip. But, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to complain about Damascus Jade. I, I mean, even if it glitches, because, like, I, it's showcasing off my camo. My hard work that I've grinded for, you know? I see it fixed again now that I pulled it back out anyway. So strange, but, like I said, I mean, hopefully they fix it. There it is again. Pull it back out. Fix it. Okay. Doesn't really fix it, though, all the time when I pull it out and then put it back like that. Which is very weird, but I don't know. But if anybody knows if there's something I can do to fix that permanently or whatever, that it never happens again, like, let me know. I should have died there, I don't know why that guy was doing that. Like, I, I, had, I should have died so easily, but he took out his knife and played that really bad. Maybe he's got a knife challenge or something, I don't know. That's the other thing, like, I find I always have to, like... Like... Cause you run out of, you run out so much faster, like, cause the rate of fire. Like, I can get, I can easily get a quad feed with the, uh, default, the default, uh, without the SSP conversion. But with the SSP conversion, like, if you get a quad feed, you're, like, on your last few hits, man. Or you're pulling out the secondary, you know? I think we had a 2k d okay not quite but it is what it is man i don't e i don't even care i also wish i would have bought the uh the recolor of the krampus outfit it was in the shop for 2k creds i don't know if i had 2k creds at the time and i i was like i never used this one that much but now that i've been using this one i like it a lot i wish i bought the recolor i know it'll come back eventually but probably at like the next christmas event or something you know because it was the christmas recolor but yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely gonna rebuy the recolor when it comes back around. 